Why is popular culture important in food studies? Popular culture, such as pop music, film, journalism, and television, has an impact on us and on our everyday lives. These experiences influence the ways in which we understand and perceive ourselves and others. They also shape cultural values, ideas of justice, democracy, and human dignity. Finally, popular culture makes our life richer by exposing our bodies and minds to a wide variety of different emotions. In other words, popular culture is one way we can build self and collective identities, social and political justice or injustice, and well-being. Over the last 20 years or so, food has become a prominent part of popular media. Specialized magazines and food-based TV series and shows have become increasingly visible. Now, is this a good thing? The obvious answer would be, it depends. Popular culture is indeed ambivalent, and although it might seem straightforward and banal, it is a complex socio-political phenomenon. On the one hand, it might empower people, on the other, it might commodify their lives with empty aesthetic experiences. For example, major Hollywood studios may have distributed some of the greatest films of Martin Scorsese or Alfred Hitchcock, but in other cases, they have spread repetitive storytelling, contributed to the diffusion of toxic gender stereotypes, advocated social Darwinism or extreme consumerism. The same ambivalence applies to food representations. Major media and cultural studies scholar Graham Turner, for instance, has claimed that the values embodied in the first Australian version of the famous TV format MasterChef are actually progressive and inclusive. The competitive element is toned down as cooking is shown to encourage sociality and creativity. However, the same cannot be said of MasterChef in other countries, where food culture is marginalized, brutal competition is brought to the fore, and the preoccupation of running a restaurant are emphasized over collective creativity. Food media studies deals precisely with these ambivalence and with the opportunities that communication and the cultural industries might offer to food culture. Because of these contradictions, media and cultural policy studies, subfield of media studies, are extremely important in times of change, such as those in which we are living today. These studies look at the ways governments intervene in the private and public cultural sectors through a diverse range of legal tools and strategies. The real goal of these studies is to identify the social cultural implications of the choices taken by policymakers. Do they enrich our food habits? Do they provide real opportunities for users and audiences to choose critically and actively? Do they encourage healthy and constructive ways of engaging with gastronomy? Thus, for me, at the heart of food media studies lies the question of the extent to which mediated symbolic experiences contribute to the quality of people's lives. And if they do not in present times, what can be done about it through active citizenship and policy initiatives? To a different extent, in various shapes and forms, my courses and my lectures precisely revolve around these two pivotal questions.